grandma's truck was already hooked up to a trailer, but just for you guys. He's a 98. All right, you guys have been asking where the Holy Grail 9812 valve is. Well, here it is. It hasn't actually moved in quite a while. It's been sitting in one spot. So, just for you guys, I hooked up the old faithful Texas Pride, which, oh, easy Callahan. Callahan down there. What do you think, bud? Anyway, just for you guys, we're gonna go on a little towing mission. Miniana, bright and early, pick up old Yeller. And, uh, Take the G56 swap 12 out. Just for you guys. Shifting. Ooh. Yeah! Woof. What gear are you going in? We want this one. That's a gear right there. Taylor's locking up the Connex. Let's go! Your man's mission or you like this sissy stick? That one's better, isn't it? Cold start commencing in three, two, no gritty. Like 70 degrees out. Yeah. We got two coats on 70 degrees. COVID. What is that? Drive around that didn't quite Secure make it. Secure your load. Basic maneuvers initiated. Veer left just lazily. <laughs> Before COVID and all that stuff, used to be able to drive through here. Been driving through here for years. But now, they tried about putting the parking at an angle rather than Palo Park. But then they ended up deciding, just going to close down the whole street. And it's going to be like a little city fair every, every day down here. Which is fine, I guess. But I really did like driving through here. It was very convenient. We'll go ahead and snag old Yeller. Throw him on the trailer. Get on out of chip. You want to show you how to use a jack? Oh, I'm swing by cars and coffee right now. <laughs> I was going to suggest that to you on video. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it's pretty good that that thing rolls as good as it does. It's out for 30 plus years before I got it. Got dust on it. Last time I saw this, it had 18 inch, 18 to two feet worth of snow on it. The transmission cooler line is dragging. Go that way. Yeah, there you go. See if this thing bottoms out. Two-wheel drive trucks. Good. Doesn't care. Might as well tow this with a little buddy. Mark and break. If your winch doesn't have enough to do it, the perks of this jump pack is you can go 12 or 24. So if it doesn't quite have enough, you just switch it over to the 24. It'll pull it. Finger. Nineteen sixty-seven. Still got all original metal.
Let's so say you got a permit to block that sidewalk? standing there by the yogurt store uh -huh. he's like newer dodge tone and old dodge he's like that's awesome <laughs> the newer dodge yep <laughs> oh well, i think he the... was older than the yellow truck so yeah okay that counts yeah, yeah. so it's kind of funny though <laughs> people call my 08 old i'm like I well i don't have a car but i have some coffee we'll have the cars and coffee hey, what time is it about eight o'clock about eight ten yeah We'll find somewhere to park. Hey, the old timers are already looking at it. Bring all the other cars here, they're not looking at it. You don't think a driving up for a mile. I know, right? Like, oh, what's this guy got? Should just park it right here. <laughs> it's snooping right there. Yeah. <laughs> Would almost be all right. <laughs> Why is it turning so many heads? That snake right through there. guys a little ride along swapped out my cousin for Boone just see how this old girl toes I've made a couple videos back in the day I guess towing with this but just for reference to let you guys know this trailer weighs 8,500 pounds it is solid freaking heavy anchor for a boat and this little pickup probably weighs like now 2,000 pounds so let's just say generous 10,000 pounds back here which honestly that is probably all this truck is really ready to tow and it does it without a problem, obviously. Cummins. So let's just do a little trip around the block. Show you guys this old girl in action. It's been a minute since she's seen the spotlight. I mean, the door's creaking. I hate that. Uh -huh. I'll have to get the dug out. Well, decent garage. Just did a G56 swap in his crew cab first gen. That's pretty cool. But you have the automatic window thing. This truck is pretty much like the exact equivalent to the 12 valve dream truck, second gen. I wouldn't mind having a crew cab truck, but realistically those things are so expensive now. Driver's garage, he's got a pretty nice truck. It needs, needs some TLC. The custom work that those things have definitely didn't last as long as the factory truck, which is kind of weird. California trucks out here, they typically don't have an issue with rust. Uh, out of all the trucks, I probably own more than 20 second gens, I would say, a couple dozen. And I've only had one of them that showed any kind of rust that was like a straight up California truck. But I believe it started its life up on the summit, possibly Nevada. Saw quite a good amount of winter earlier on and just got a little rust and started eating into it. But this truck, 
started its life off it is a factory automatic you saw that there it's 9812 valve these things do come standard back in the day 9812 valve some of them came with the good um, block for it but then a lot of them did come with the majority of them that I've seen that were 9812 valves came with a 53 block which is unfortunate but there's a remedy with the water pump I made a video about that but I love this truck it's awesome I need to do a new dash for it I ain't gonna do a cover for it I'll just put tear it out and put a new whole new dot dash on the top I don't think I towed with this thing at all when it was an automatic I just second gen even early third gens 47 48 trucks that's the transmission that's the automatic this one came with a 47 RE and then you get a third gen with 48 this truck is so much nicer to drive now it's got a stick shift in it it's usable got it set up with the BMW hitch in there unfortunately you put a BMW in it you can't put airbags um, in the easy spot for a second gen you have to do a spring block delete kind of a thing and then you can put them on the, the better spot the traditional one goes on top of the axle in between the axle and the frame second gens typically they bolt onto the outside of the frame if you put a BMW hitch on it they just they get in each other's way gears clash so this thing just rips the only thing I need to really do to it is add a uh, for you guys need to add 60 pound valve springs on the exhaust end because you'll get uh, kind of float valves if you run an exhaust brake and you don't have the good springs they'll actually close your back down so you you don't want that you got to watch your back pressure but as this thing sits mild modifications to it I'd like to do some more down the line but the simple stuff I've done to this really opens up 12 valves now factory horsepower is 180 with the automatic. You could get 215 pump on there from factory, 215 horsepower would be the high output version of this if it was running the five, five speed manual trains. So all I've done is you bump up the timing, advance it four degrees. That will turn the truck up just a lot by doing that. It really opens her up. Obviously you wanna throw a little bit more fuel at it, but let's just say you take the easy route, turn the smoke screw up, put a $50 zero plate in there or cut your factory plate back to zero. Very simple, you can watch videos on that. Uh, those two things, they'll make the truck rip and that takes a minimal amount of time. Probably, if you're an amateur at it, never done it before, you watch a couple videos, you probably do that within an hour. Turn the smoke screw up, yeah, it gives power, but it'll do a ton more smoking, which is fine. I don't mind that. You can control it, it's not unbelievably bad, but then, the advanced timing four degrees like I did on this thing which is very minimal and she turns into a river gets rid of the smoke cleans that up no problem and uh, 4,000 rpm governor springs to really let the truck carry I have three K's in grandma's truck that uh, you can feel it at like 2800 starting to wind down a little bit so I wouldn't consider it a full 3K governor springs. Run the fours, I never run over 3,000 anyway, but it really, it lets you have the full RPM range that you want because these trucks, 12 valves do like the lower RPM. They have that dinosaur, you know, tractor grunt, but when it comes down to it, RPMs tend to carry the power a little bit better. So if you're pulling a hill, keeps your EGTs down, your exhaust temperatures, very manageable if you're at a higher RPM continuously thing about these trucks and back in the day why they did so good is they just didn't have the horsepower to do anything like as far as longevity reliability these trucks just half a million miles no problem a million miles there's been several trucks reported getting a million miles out of an old 12 out just because they're just dinosaur grunting you know didn't have enough power to hurt themselves perks of being able to choose my gears and I got six of them rather than four this right here I think is the best combination for any swap I'll G50 G56 swap anything over an MB4500 now um, or an MB5600 I don't think I'll do an MB5600 again wonder if I can spin a U right here we're going to 
We're gonna try it anyway. Hopefully the trailer plug doesn't get deleted. Running through the gears a little bit. 3,000. She makes just a lot of noise now. Bicyclist, 20 points. Again, we don't do that anymore. truck back home for the second time today hope you guys enjoyed the video get out of cars and coffee let me know what you guys think of the old g56 swap unit get the old gate to open up for me it's just it's a good day i couldn't i made so many friends at cars and coffee today it was unreal talking to folks about the yellow truck talk trucks with this looking at some of their projects I had a buddy down there he had a uh Heard me talking chargers down at the auto parts store, and he said he just finished restoring his truck, which is a 73 Ford pickup truck, which is awesome truck. It's about the same exact truck as my dad's 76, and uh, he said his grandpa bought it in 74, so he's, it's, I guess it's a two-owner truck technically, and he did a beautiful paint job on it. Beautiful interior, exterior, he did great. It's a yellow truck you guys saw there. Somebody offered him well into the six figures for that truck unreal what these trucks bring nowadays so get the yellow truck done up i'm gonna have a v10 viper in this thing if all goes to plan but we'll see you guys on the next one like comment subscribe let me know what you guys did this weekend i'm gonna do a little bit more truck content here and there but we just been so busy see you guys on the next one later